We've got an intro screen. You know what that means. I'm back home. Finally, finally. It's been forever. Now, I'm only home for a couple days. We're going camping for a week, which is going to be crazy. But uh, my kids are going to be in camps the entire time we're there. I don't even know what that means. But I think it means that I can float down the river and drink, I think. Just adult beverages all day long. Don't entirely know. But nonetheless, thank you for your patience. This has been a long, long, t trying time. The v audio in my last video was just a gong show. I always checked just to make sure it sounds good, but I didn't check all the way through, and holy crow, that was terrible. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do imitation game. I'm a little bit late in posting this, and when I say a little bit, I mean 10 hours late. So not super awesome. We'll start out with some YOLO because uh, I feel like I am not long for the living, but you only live once. That's what YOLO stands for in case you have been hiding under a rock for the past 10 years. Uh, what else do I have to talk about? Just busy beyond belief that you don't care about that. Maybe you do. And if you do care, thanks for caring. But overall, just general craziness family time is finally done uh, pretty uh, pretty awesome got to view got to spend some time with the australian side of my wife's family which we don't see terribly often cousin time and my daughter and their my niece i guess are the exact same size they look all fairly identical they're both like the exact same height they're both blonde they're both uh it's it was pretty cool just to see them hanging out so uh, you, that that's uh, some just some background information on uh, what I've been doing, what I've been excited about the last little while. I have not slept in like a week. Been staying in my uh, in-laws travel trailer, which doesn't have curtains on the skylight or on the door. So I've just been waking up at the crack of dawn and just been burning the candle at all five in. I don't know how many. In. It's just, I'm just exhausted. So if I sound tired, if I sound different, if I sound weird, we're going to blame it on that. Uh, overall, pretty good though. I mean, uh-oh, don't have many complaints. I'm home. We had a huge salmon that my son caught for, look at that. Also got a crystal and a shard. And the, actually the trader deals are pretty good. I like this kind of deal a lot. I mentioned it on Twitter, but changing resources for uh, glow sticks it's exactly what i want trades to look like especially as a max player as a max player resources are a complete waste of time so if i can trade them for something like useful glow sticks so we can go raving that's fantastic uh, in case i think they're called power rods but everyone i've ever talked to has called them glow sticks if that you're wondering what the heck i'm talking about uh, just yeah, I don't know. What's new with you guys? What's what's the happenings? I know that they recently closed down the forums, which is kind of, it's, actually it's bad news, really. I mean, the forums were full of awesome, awesome information. I really, really wished or wish they would have left it in uh, read-only mode so that they could you could find that information later. But it sounds like people are working on backing it up, so hopefully there'll be some sort of mirror or something like that. But and for that until that happens welcome to reddit all of you people out there who have been on the forums or um i mean it's i can understand why drew did it it's uh, just easier for him one place i couldn't i could never keep up with the forums i there's just too much going on there too many threads uh not to say that that's a bad thing but i can see how it would be difficult for drew to keep up uh, i the forums anytime i the forums were always the one that fell off for me. If I didn't have time for something, it was going to be the forums and Facebook. And I don't know why, maybe I just don't like letter words that start with F or something. But it, that's just that was just the reality for me. So one less place for me to post or to try and keep up with is nice. Um, obviously, I would have never wished that upon anyone. The forums would be closed. But um, it will be ever so slightly easier for me once that's, hap that's happened. Again, like I said, my needs are absolutely secondary. What, uh, what What's easy for me is, does not necessarily mean it's better. I mean, don't get me wrong. The forums were fantastic. Uh, it, they're going to be missed. And um, <clears throat> hopefully those people who uh, are passionate about the forums come on over and join the Reddit community. Because 
Uh, we'd love to have you. And by say we, I am. I post to Reddit. I've posted to Reddit less and less as time has gone on, just because I don't like to. I find that I don't like people that post their own videos. I don't want to be that guy, that spammer. I also that's why I don't add millions of ads to my videos. I don't want to be. I try to follow what I would like to see, and I just have not had time to reply to many threads on Reddit. So as a result, I have not posted many videos on Reddit. I kind of like try to do some sort of like help five people, then post one video sort of ratio, if that makes any sense. Hopefully that is, uh, that doesn't sound ridiculous or crazy, but that's sort of what I go for. I don't actually have a number. It's not like I am keeping a tally or something like that, but you get kind of the idea of what I'm after. Well, I'm going to try to do something a little bit silly and ridiculous here. We're going to drop our rifles here, then we're going to drop the rest of our troops here. And hopefully our rifles will stay out front and maybe stay alive for a minute so we can smoke all the way back here. What I really wanted was that grappler not to grab anything important was my entire goal of those rifles. Uh, I really like to do weird wonky oh, there we go speaking of um grabbing anything important let's throw a shock on this stuff and uh that's it we're gonna hopefully get our tanks all the way back there you see how slow tanks are this is why i don't like to use tanks because they just move so incredibly slowly but we are now officially successfully smoking one two three four five six seven and eight different troops, if you include the fact that our hero, Miss Brick, made it. And our uh, grappler is going to ruin someone's life in a minute. Oh, wait, only a heavy. That's okay. We can deal with that. If it would have grabbed our Scorcher, which I think it's about to do. Nope, did not grab our Scorcher. So we are still off and running. We're going to shock some boom cannons here, I think. Look at that. Just the riflemen being the bros and keeping things alive. Uh, by the way, this is not something I recommend doing. This is just me trying to do something silly and ridiculous, and I think succeeding. I mean, we just took down Stage 5 by Mr. or Mrs. Vegas with seven different troops smoked to the back. I kind of like that landing. That can be really handy when there's single-shot stuff in the front and or grapplers. So... Uh, lost a lot of troops, but man, I can't say it enough. I just love how wide and ridiculous that screen right there looks. I don't know if we can do stage six. Let's, let's check out my troop levels here while we're here. Le uh, so we've got decent level stuff except for Grins, tanks, scorchers, and medics. So overall, most of those have been leveled up pretty well. Let's have a look at stage six, see if we can continue the ridiculous trend. I sort of doubt it. Can we smoke to the side? Those are well-placed mines, actually. Not the best base, but well-placed mines, at least. Uh, how do we want to do this? Let's go... You know what? Let's just do it like this. I'm going to go a little bit off of the standard. We'll use some, Let's see if we can use Grenadiers. Do I have a Grenadier tribe? Yes, I do. Let's give that a shot. <coughs> Excuse me. And we will see what we can do. I think I remember trying to hack this rocket launcher and that cannon does not range if i recall correctly so just be aware that i think that's not going to happen uh, i could completely completely be wrong but we'll find out here in a moment this is going to be the stuff i'm going to work on barting out that rocket launcher and that shock launcher because we can shock these two together and just make our way forwards I'm just going to do a straight up drop right in here and then shock like that. I don't I don't think I can overheal one rocket launcher with some ice. I don't think the ice is boosted, but uh, we'll find out here in a moment. Let's just go like this. Yeah, see, we weren't going to be able to overheal that rocket launcher. So the fact that we threw a couple of bur artilleries at it was a great idea. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure just based on... A previous attack that I think I was super upset that uh, we weren't able to do what I wanted to do on that so uh, it may be that you can hack that rocket launcher and just drop your troops normally but maybe just use my uh, my intuition here then think that maybe we can't uh, I, I could be completely completely making things up but uh, let's just trust me a little bit and we'll see if I'm right someone else tell me if, you're, if I'm right or wrong or something 
Why I just threw that shock out there, I have no idea, com to be completely honest. That was not a very smart shock. We're going to move over into here, and we're going to try and shock right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get absolutely destroyed here. Unless I get really, really lucky and get a whole bunch of GBE in a, in a short amount of time. Come on, I'm just going to start tapping, because we really, really need that shock. Oh, look at that. We actually got the shock. Uh, Everspark is dead back here, which is not helping things. Not helping things at all. This attack, I I failed like six operation attacks today. Um, not actually six, but it felt like six. I want to say I, I want to say I failed say four operation attacks today. So it's not surprising that I'm about to fail this imitation game. I'd really like that rock shock launcher to just go away while we're here, though. Maybe before the shock blaster eats all of the faces. Yeah, we're done. So I don't recommend that. Don't, uh, baby, don't try that strategy at all. I'm going to load a extra boat of Zookas. And we will just go like this. And we will jump in and hit stage 6. The Zookas are there just in case I need a little bit of firepower to get into that corner. I don't think I will, but it shouldn't be a big deal. There we go. So now, actually, you know what? I'm just going to... Drop the Zookas with the everyone else. That's my plan here. Um, it's probably a terrible, terrible plan. But whatevs. We'll just see how this goes. I need Everspark to give us some critters pretty quickly here. Because we're not getting anything out of this. And that Shock Blaster is not going away. That's what we were after the Zookas for. Come on, Zookas. Now we're going to move over and... Can you imagine if I failed on this level? That would be really, really bad. Uh, shocking there. Look at that shock. That's a pretty one. I like that a little bit. Uh, where else do we need to shock? Let's shock over into here. Oh man, we're in a world of trouble. I'm about to get absolutely destroyed by rocket launchers. And I'm about to lose all of my grenadiers. And I'm about to fail, I do believe. Look at this. Come on, Everspark, I need you to get me some critters, because if that uh, shock blaster doesn't go down very quickly, we are about to lose, and I just lost. Remember when I said, imagine if I failed in two? So, um, using Grenadiers on a base that was already completely decimated was a terrible, terrible idea. Uh, I guess at least I can... Man, holy, I'm just failing every which way. Let's have a look at stage seven. Hopefully I can get a look at it. See, this is what I should have done. Now that all the entire front is just gone, ruined, destroyed, vanquished, whatever uh, word you want to use. Is that an adjective? Um, we'll get up to there and we'll drop ever spark, brick, whatever her name is, a bit late and hopefully just actually beat stage six. So, Overall, um, yesterday's video had terrible, terrible audio. Today's video has terrible, terrible attacks. Should have stuck with the YOLO troop composition. Um, but otherwise, um, forums are gone. The trader is here, not bad. And um, the gunboat crab is coming. It's coming fairly soon. I have no idea what gunboat crab actually means. But it's going to be interesting to see what that what's what that brings. Are they going to bring like a second gunboat or half off abilities or double GBE tribe or GBE? I, I don't. It's going to be interesting to see what gunboat tribe means. I assume there's going to be a whole bunch of rotating abilities, kind of like the Mega Turtle we had a while back. Let's have a look at Stage Seven. We can look at it. So Stage Seven is not a terribly difficult one. Just walk your troops up into where this flamethrower is, maybe where the mortar is, and you should be able to beat this with like one shock or one sh two shocks, something like that, or just walk RZM up and just keep one shock here, one shock here, and you can beat this, and you'll get a crystal probably because I didn't and I sucked, but that's it. That's all. Thanks for coming in. I should have a video up tomorrow. I'm just going to try and figure out some sort of topic. Maybe I'll do a live stream. Maybe I'll do some in-depth thing that I haven't thought about yet. So probably not. But anyways, I'm home for a couple days. Uh, say hi. Let me know what you think I should bring camping with me. I just bought this like crazy power pack that is 
um, enough battery juice to last like a week. So hopefully I'm going to upload videos every day while my kids are off in activities, maybe. Uh, don't really know, but um, let me know what you think I should bring camping, what most people would never think of. I saw some people use like those... Um, sandwich maker things to make s'mores oh by the way camp i can't even have a campfire it is so smoky and hot here they just declared a state of emergency it's ridiculous um there's not there's wind and rain and it's just not a good type time of year and um i really kind of hope it rains but i'm in a tent so i kind of hope it doesn't but i've rambled enough thanks for coming in uh say hello hit me up in the comments with just tell me what kind of beer you like to drink or um, what to use for fishing for the kids. I'm just going to dig worms. Just say hi. I've missed all of you and I have been too absent for too long. So I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace.